Hello, welcome back into the holiday episode of the Better Half Hour. The MLB winter meetings and offseason has been scorching hot. So many moves, big time names all over the board. Let's get into it. Let's start out with our New York Mets. Where do we start? There's so many acquisitions. Carlos Correa, the most recent one. Nimmo, Diaz, Verlander, Senga, Quintana. I mean, Adovino even swooped Robertson. This Mets team is going to be filthy. Let's start with Verlander for a second. They acquire him. He's 18 and four with a 1.7 ERA, 185 Ks, 0.83 WHIP, and a Cy Young with a World Series pedigree. Two time coming to the Mets. Finished second in wins, first in ERA, 20th in Ks, and first in WHIP. This guy coming in fourth most wins in his career, best ERA for a full season. Again, you cannot understate. You reunite him with his Max Scherzer old teammate. You add to a ERA that's top eight already for the New York Mets. Their whip is top six. Their strikeouts per nine was number one in the league. Home runs per nine, top 13 whip. Walks per nine was top four and strikeouts per walks, top two. This Mets pitching staff's going to be lethal. Of course, Scherzer 11 and five with a 2-2-9 ERA. And the NL reliever of the year, Edwin Diaz, the T Hoff Award, 1-3-1 ERA with 32 saves. Carlos Correa, though, you inherit the former Rookie of the Year. Seven seasons with the Strohs. Caught a ring there as well. Six seasons with 20-plus homers, 60-plus RBIs. Lifetime 279 average. Two-time All-Star. 2021 Gold Glove winner and most impressive. 849 career OPS. That is eighth highest minimum. 300 appearances in the league. Cohen spending over 800 million people. He's dropping 111 in luxury tax alone. This lineup's going to be absolutely incredible. It is a great time for the Kings of Queens. That's right. I said it coming up next. Let's not not talk about them because the New York Yankees are making moves. Cashman re-signed. Judge coming back. It's a very exciting time. And the Carlos Rodon acquisition I'll get to in a second can not be any bigger for this pitching staff. But let's talk about Judge. 62 big ones, 131 ribbies, 311 average, a 1.11 OPS. Again, first in homers, RBIs. His wins above replacement was 10.6. That was tied for 24th all time among outfielders. Came in with the second career high on base percentage plus slugging only behind Mike Trout. And then Rodon. 14 and 8 for the G-Men, the Giants. That was most wins for him in a season in SF in his last two years in San Francisco. 27 and 13 with a 267 ERA, whip just below a one. The Yankees were already third in team ERA, whip, and sixth best case per walks. The offense, you know it. First in homers, first in walks, top three in runs is going to be arguably teed up for a Subway Series in the Big Apple. It's going to be a very exciting few months leading up to first pitch. But other moves were made around the league. Let's get into it. Lowercase d heads to the Rangers. Jacob deGrom, uh, we got to mention it, but he is out of the New York Mets clubhouse. He is in with Bruce Bochy and now the Texas Rangers, but he joins a team with the ninth worst team ERA. It's the, it's the man who's one of the best of all time. 102 Ks, eight walks last year, 252 ERA, lifetime. But only five and four last year with a 308 ERA. And again, this pitching staff, I mean, they haven't had good pitching since Nolan Ryan, people. So he's going to have his work cut out for him. Ball travels a little differently over there in Arlington. But another team making moves in the NL East. I hate to say it, I have to. But this Philadelphia Phillies club just does not stop spending money. The Phillies just finding a way to reunite. The old Nats, it's Turner and Harper back together. This is a Trey Turner acquisition, 307 batting average for a season and a half with the Dodgers. The Phillies now, just to put this into your noggin, have four batters who rank in the top 25 in the NL in on-base percentage plus slugging. Four of the top 25 in the same lineup. Harper, of course, 258 average with 
Turner as a teammate. Turner hit 290 with Harper as a teammate. Now, this is a man who's a career 302 hitter. Two straight seasons he's gone that. 20-plus homers and 30-plus doubles. Again, this is the offseason of shortstop catching that bread. Speaking of which, let's come over because last but not least, the San Diego Padres continuing to spend money. They swoop Bogarts from the Sox, and Boston doesn't even know what to do with themselves because Boston – had Bogarts for a whole decade. He was a five-time Silver Slugger, four-time All-Star, top 20 in MVP voting, voting for five straight seasons. The guy hit 307. 307, he's hit at least 28 doubles in every full season of his career. This Padres lineup, you want to talk about a team that shouldn't get slept on, but very well may because of how stacked the NL is. Oh my gosh, Machado, Soto, Tatis, Bogarts. I'm running out of time. We got more holiday show coming up. You don't want to miss it. Don't go anywhere here on the Better Half Hour.